How to save 50% on your marketing in wholesaling real estate. What is up guys, Zach in here. And in today's video, I want to show you exactly how to save as much money as possible on your marketing by becoming more efficient, talking to less sellers and actually doing more deals. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly everything I know on exactly how to spend the best amount of money, the best ROI on your marketing so you can get the best results possible. Your local guru or real estate investing guru is never going to tell you this stuff because they want to make money off of you and they want to charge as much as they can for your marketing. But really what I want to give you is some ninja tactics on how to save a ton of money in wholesaling and actually how you can use those savings to make even more money. Before I break it down, do me a big favor. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and let's break it down. So the name of the game here, if we're going to save more money in wholesaling real estate, is just by contacting less sellers, being more efficient, and doing actually more deals when it comes to actually talking to less sellers. Now, this might seem very confusing or very easy, right? Like, okay, to save money in wholesaling, I should contact contact less people, but aren't I going to lose money? You're actually going to make more money. Let me explain. Let's look at the average wholesaler looking at their marketing or pulling a list on like PropStream or Batch Leads. If they pull a list of, let's say, 5,000 high equity leads in St. Louis, Missouri, they're probably going to pull 5,000 leads, skip trace it, and at 12 cents every single record at PropStream, they're probably going to spend 600 bucks just skip tracing that specific list. Now, if you just do a regular high equity filter on PropStream, I would say around 50% of those leads or what I call trash, like terrible, bad leads. These are not leads you would be dealing with in wholesaling real estate. You are literally wasting your time contacting these type of sellers. What do I mean by trash? 50% of those sellers on a list like that are just doing a general list pulling. They're going to want too much for the property. They're going to think the property is worth so much money, You're just wasting skip tracing costs. They're going to owe too much on the house. They're going to have a big mortgage. They don't want to sell right now. Or let's say they give the objection of, I just bought the property. Why do I want to sell it? Or even worse, the property is listed on the market with a real and they say, give me an offer, right? For 50% of these type of sellers, you're just wasting your time spending that 600 bucks on the skip tracing. Heck, I sound like a guru saying this, but you can just save a bunch of money and make more money by just being more efficient. For example, if you go to freewholesaling.com, my free real estate wholesaling course, I show you exactly how to pull the high equity list the right way so you can slash that list in half and actually get all the sellers that still want to sell the property and get rid of all the trash leads. These are going to be filters like making sure the property owner owns the house for at least least three plus years. The house is actually valued below the median home price. What I want you guys to understand is if the property's estimated value is over what the median home price is for the area, they're less likely to sell at a discount. This is pretty simple. So if I have a $100,000 house, I'm more willing to take a 30% discount on my property and sell it for $70,000 versus if I have a million dollar house, I'm a lot less likely to sell that for $700,000. Just the rule of large numbers, the bigger the price of the real estate, the less likely they're willing to take a bigger discount on the house. So if you look at your median home price in your market, if you're talking to properties that are below the median home price, they're more likely to actually say yes to a low ball offer and more likely for you to do a wholesaling real estate deal. On top of that, you want to make sure the seller has at least 60% equity in the property. Now, a lot of these high equity lists, maybe they're 40%, 50% equity. Guys, you got to be at least 60% equity. And one huge tip here, make sure that the owner owns at most only five houses. They have to own five houses or less. A lot of these big high equity leads, you're going to have these big mega landlord homeowners that own 20, 30, 40, 50, even a thousand houses. You can even exclude in prop stream LLCs or companies that own properties. I would still keep trust because a lot of older people put their properties in trusts. But if you start adding these type of leads, you're going to get 2,500 potential leads on that list. That's going to cost you 300 bucks. You are seriously going to save 50% on your skip tracing costs. You're going to spend a lot less money on the dialer or a VA for calling this list. And most importantly, you're not really losing out on any deals. You're making your life a lot easier. The next part here on how you save a lot of money is just stop putting bad leads in your CRM. You're seriously wasting a ton of time and a ton of money doing this. If your motivated seller does not have an interest in selling the property, stop putting that lead in your CRM. You're going to have hundreds of leads that don't even want to sell the property and you're wasting valuable time. And everybody knows time is money. So let me recap this. Unless somebody actually has an interest in selling the property, do not put that lead in your CRM or in Podio. The next part here, and probably one of the most important parts, is actually just using good scripts. Good scripts is going to save you a ton of money with VAs, and especially in your marketing, and it's going to make your life a lot easier. Now, this isn't really said too much when it comes to the money side, but if you can get four hours of cold calling done in 
only an hour or two hours, your life's just gonna be a lot easier. You're gonna work a lot less, you're gonna be a lot happier, and you're gonna spend more time actually doing really good income producing activities, which is gonna yield you more money and more results. So the biggest money waster I see with people doing cold calling is, number one, they're cold calling the wrong list. Let's say for example, I see people that come up to me and say, Zach, I'm not getting good results in my cold calling and I'm blaming you and it's all your fault. I always say, hey, what type of list are you calling? Oh, I'm calling the pre-foreclosure list because my guru told me to do it. Well, your guru broke. Okay, they don't actually make a lot of money and they actually don't run a real real estate wholesaling business. They haven't wholesaled since 2015 and they don't know what works and what doesn't work. I run a legitimate seven figure wholesaling operation. From my years of experience of overdoing a thousand real estate wholesaling deals, I can tell you straight up, the pre foreclosure list is terrible for cold calling. A lot of these sellers are getting called from loan sharks, mortgage companies, credit repair places, realtors, it's a complete mess. It's better to SMS text blast a list like this or to leave a sticky note or direct mail. But if you pull this list, skip traced it and tried calling it, you'd waste your time, you'd waste your money, and you'd get no deals at all. This is why it's important to actually pull the right type of list. I would prefer if you pulled a probate list, a government list, so this can be like a code violation, water shut off, fire damage property, a tax lien list, IRS debt lien list. These are going to be a lot better list to be cold calling versus a pre-foreclosure. The same thing applies with your direct mail or SMS text blasting. If you're pulling really bad quality data, you're not going to do well. And you're actually, it seems like you're saving time with that guy from five that's gonna be two or three cents per record, but you're actually wasting time and money because that money you spend is not gonna give you any good results. Same thing with your skip tracing. If you're using a two cent skip tracing service, there's a reason why it's two cents. It's probably old regurgitated information that is not up to date or well. Every single type of very high quality skip tracing service that's actually using credit pure data from the credit companies that's getting extremely accurate results are gonna cost you at minimum eight cents all the way up to 15 cents. Don't tell any of the skip tracing companies I said this, but they actually get the information for around eight cents. So if they're charging two cents for it, you know they're not getting the really good high quality stuff. Like, would you expect to buy a brand new Wagyu Kobe beef Japanese steak for $4 a pound? If you know they're selling Wagyu beef steak for $4 a pound, or if somebody's selling you a pound of gold for four bucks, you know most likely it's not gonna be the actual quality real thing. But let's talk about the scripts here. Getting a bad list is bad. Getting back to skip tracing is bad. The thing that nobody really talks about is actually having a bad list. So let's talk about the cold calling scripts. If you are not to the point with your cold calling, you're gonna waste a lot of time with your motivated self and you're gonna waste a lot of money. Remember guys, time is money here. So when I cold call my motivated sellers, I ask a very easy and simple script. Hey, are you the owner of this property and are you interested in selling it? The reason why I ask that and why I'm to the point really, really quick, easy, efficient, and simple is because I don't wanna to talk to anybody that doesn't wanna sell their property or have an interest in selling their house. I see so many guru scripts out here saying, this is Zach with Zach Home Solutions and I'm ready to give you a consultation and a no hassle cash offer in your home. That sounds super salesy and gimmick and your motivated seller is probably gonna think you're a scam and not wanna deal with you. If you actually sound like a real human being, you're more likely to get somebody that actually wants to sell the property and be like, yeah, it's a real person looking to buy my house, sure. Versus if you come off as a salesperson, it's not gonna to do too well. And because you get to the point, you spend less time talking to these sellers and you actually get to talk to more qualified leads, which is gonna make you more money, which is gonna help you save a lot more. Same thing with SMS text blasting. I tell everybody, do my double whammy script for actually talking to sellers, which really comes down to asking a simple question to get a response. So the deliverability rate's really high. Something like, hey, I just drove by your house. I had a quick question at 123 Main Street. Is this John? If you do something to intrigue interest, your delivery rate's gonna be 90% versus if you do something along the lines of, this is Zach and I'm looking to buy your property for cash? Are you looking to sell it, Mr. Johnson? That's gonna give you like a 50% deliverability rate, which means you're wasting 30 to 40% on your SMS text blasting costs and you're just wasting your money there. Get better results by having the best scripts. Last but not least here is you can save a ton of money on your direct mail by using this little hack. Now, if I'm drawing for dollars and I wanna send mail out to this motivated seller because I wanna get some inbound leads, if I do a thousand, it's probably gonna cost me between 400 and 500 bucks to mail something out like this. Just a postcard to every single type of these sellers. Now, instead, I could actually just put a sticky note in the property. Something along the lines of, hey, this is Zach, I had a quick question about your property, please give me a call back. That's actually gonna give you a 30 to 40 X, more contacts, more people actually calling you back than with a regular postcard because people can get very intrigued. They call you, say, hey, me and my partner are looking to buy some more properties in the area. Are you looking to sell it by chance? And it's gonna cost you 
four or five bucks at just taking notes. Heck, if you're drawing for dollars right now and you see the ugly house, the extra 10 to 15 seconds it takes to put that sticky note on the door is gonna save you hundreds of dollars. So you actually get more leads calling you, you save a ton of money and you get more wholesaling deals. That is a win, win, win for everything. Guys, this is how you save up to 50% on your marketing costs in wholesaling real estate and exactly how you can actually talk to more leads by spending less money. If you got any value from this video, do me a favor, make sure you go to freewholesaling.com and sign up to my free real estate wholesaling course. If you got any value from this video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe. This is Zach and signing out. Have a blessed one.